okay to to run chimera on an on ios distribution is a bit different from how you do on the window to install chimera normally you is the same way just download chimera like we did last time download chimera if you are using window choose window if you are using macbook choose macbook that's that one is general now before you can use autodoc vina on 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 iOS macbook you have to install autodoc vina if you remember what we did for window we i you once you download once you install your camera and you have your vina file the vina file only is what you need for window but the reverse is the case not the case with macbook for macbook you have to first of all install your your camera which we have done after that you need, you now need to install your autodoc vina and to do that the first what you need to do is to sorry what you need to do is to go and download autodoc v to is to download autodoc vina so just go to your download download autodoc autodoc vina for for mac click enter and the first thing you see is so let me just put it down so that you can is download autodoc vina so you click on it once you click on it you can see the first one is for linux if you are using linux you download you can download linux and you can see we also have for mac so for the macbook we have 64 bytes and we also have 32 bytes so you have to determine is your is your mac 32 or 64 bytes and we also have for window can you see this is for window and this is us this is the source code so for this you just need to and this we are working with macbook so just download autodoc vina for macbook download can you see i've successfully download this particular one now isn't it so once you download this this saves directly into your download and just go open it in folder once you open it in folder all you need to do is to double click on it when you double click on it it will give you a folder this is a tar.gz folder but when i double click on it it gives me a a, a, a normal folder autodoc underscore vina underscore one underscore one underscore two underscore mac underscore catalina underscore 64 bytes so when you download it you double click on it once you double click on it it will give you this folder so let's open this folder can you see in the folder we have bin and we have license right so once you have done that you have done we are done with the first step of installing autodoc vina on your macbook so the next thing is to go to tab is to go and open a terminal. A terminal on your you know how to open terminal. Just go to you see that you press. Let me show this so that it. Excuse me, please. I'm trying to extend my screen. Okay, let me just do. So to open a terminal on window on a Mac this is a terminal you can click on this or you can come here and type terminal on the search terminal and click on it once you click on it it will bring you it will open the terminal for you which is this do you get that then once you open that there is a script which i have simplified that you can use just follow the script for you to be able to successfully install your autodoc so this is the script. Let me put it so that I will, I will also attach the script to the to the video so that you can look at it. The first thing is we've downloaded. The, the first step is to download. 
which we have downloaded that. And after we right click that, we have a folder. Now, all we need to do now is to go to that folder. So on my own desk, on my own, just remember our Linux script. Just now, let's let me click let, where, I'm, where I am. Let's say PWD print working directory. I'm in the users and on my computer, Dr. Kenny, dr.kenny rather. So in your own, know where you are now. Let me ls list. So this is what I have. Don't forget what I downloaded says on download. So I have to go to the download folder, CD download. You go to download, don't forget this is case sensitive, capital D. CD download is download. Enter. So once you enter that, now let's ls. So the net now I LS, so I'm looking for the autodoc folder that I have. These are what I in that. So so the next thing now is to go into this. So you can just copy this script. Just copy it. I will I will send that. Just copy. Control C. And come here. Paste. Control V. So we want to go into the folder into the into the auto dog the underscore vina folder that we have. Go to it. I'm in that folder now. So once you do that, the next thing is let's go in. If you if I do LS, you will see there are two folders. So it is license and B. So let's go into B, CD. You can see this is the next thing, CD, B. Let's press enter. So we can see I'm now in B, isn't it? So once you are in B, copy the next command. That's change mode, space plus X, Vina. So you can just type, let's type it. Don't forget it's case sensitive. C H M O D space plus S Vina. Press enter. So if we are there now. So the next thing now, now let add this let's add the Vina executable to the part. So for us to be able to have it to the part so that this Vina can run. You use this command sudo sudo space nano space backstroke etc slash part. Now enter. Now if you are, if you are, if you are familiar with MacBook, you know anytime you use sudo, it will request for your password. So you use your password. In this case, I'm going to use my own password. So you use your own password. And once you're done, you press enter. The password won't show, but just, if I use to MacBook, it won't show, but just press your enter. So once you've done that, you can see where I have, I have user, Dr. Kenny and this and this, right? So what you need, the next thing you do is now add the full, the full part of the executive table, executive, Vina executable to, to the part. Now, in this case, now I already have this. So what this means is, let me go back to let me go back to the folder. This is what you need to add. Backstroke user slash. This is my this is my laptop username. So if your own username is Johnson Careza, you put Johnson Careza. Then is do you do you have download? You put the part. You understand what I mean by the part? Let me show you what I mean by the part. For example, let me show you what I mean by the word part. Now, if this is this is the orthodox Vina, right? You can see it's in download. Now, if I should click on, you can see so after download, after my user, my laptop username is download, then orthodox Vina, then B. So you do the same thing. So, in, so your username will be you add you just add it here. Username slash your your username your laptop username users slash your laptop username. In this case, my own laptop username is dr.kenny 
So if yours is C don't see, you put C or whatever is yours, then download slash the autodoc folder, autodoc underscore vina underscore one underscore one underscore two underscore mark underscore Catalina, this slash bin. You just copy this whole thing, you copy it and you paste it among these. Once you have done that, the next thing, press control plus X, let, let, press control, so you press control on your board and you press X, S for silo phone. So you press S, so that's for you to exit. Sorry. So press S. Can you see now? So I've, I'm able to exit. So at times it will, this one actually goes directly, but at times it may ask you, do you want to exit? Then you type Y and press enter. So my own, I've already configured mine. He's not asking me, do I want to exit? If he asks you, if do you want to exit, you type Y and you press enter. So once you have done that, you have successfully installed Vina on your laptop, on your MacBook. So once you have done that, you can just type, type ordinary Vina and press enter. It will give you, so you definitely have this. When you see this, that this shows you have successfully installed. Can you see it straightforward? You have successfully installed Autodoc Vina on your laptop. That is what, that is what it means. So you can see when I type Vina, it gives me correct usage and it gives me information. That means we have successfully installed Vina on this laptop. So let me just give you a, 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 a summary of what, how to do that. For you to be able to run Chimera on your laptop, on your MacBook, after you have downloaded and installed your Chimera, you need to download and install Autodoc Vina. And how do you do that? Go to your browser, type download Autodoc Vina. You click to give you, and you see download Autodoc Vina. Once you click on it, you will choose if your laptop is window or like I have here, if your laptop is window, you choose. If your, if, if your laptop is 64 bytes, you choose. If it is 32 bytes, you choose. After you've done that, the next thing is to do, is to go to where your, your the, where the, and installer download to in this in this story, in this um, video in this uh, uh, one we have it in download you double click on it once you double click on it it will generate a new folder for you it will get it generate a new folder if you look at this case this is what we downloaded right when we double click on it it give us this folder autodoc vina so from this setup when you double click on it it will give you a folder Autodoc folder, and when you open it, it you will see bin and license, right? So once you do that, the next thing is to follow this step. Go to where you have your where you have the folder. In my own case, I have the folder in in desktop in download. So I have to use my script to go to download and go into this Autodoc Vina and Autodoc into the Autodoc into the Autodoc underscore Vina folder. So when I'm there, I copy, I said, okay, CD move, that CD means change directory to bin. Don't forget the bin directory is in this folder. So you have to be in this folder before you can move to bin. If you are, if you are in download or, or, desk, or desktop and you say CD to bin, it will not go. So you have to move, you have to CD using your script to get to the Autodoc Vina folder before you can type CD change directory to bin. So once you do that, you have to change the user mode. Just follow this script, chmod space plus s space vina. So once you do that, the next thing is to add the part of this vina, where you have this thing, where you have the, you have, you have the part to it. So when you get there, just type sudo nano space slash etc slash part. This is how you will add part to that, and once you do that, the next thing is to copy the part. How the part? You know, when I'm when we are talking about part, it means how you move from one folder to another folder to get to your final folder. In this case, our final folder is bin. 
And how do you move there in my own, in this description? Let me show you that description here. So come. So in, the, in this description, in this, in this, I have my username. My username is dr.kenny. Then after that, I have my desktop, the orthodox vina folder and B. So after your username, if after your use, after the user, your, your, your laptop username, if your laptop username is CJ, you put CJ and you put your download orthodox vina slash B. You copy it and you paste it to what your laptop displays to you after you press, after you use this. Let me show you this. Let me show you this again. So can you see? After I, you type sudo nano etc, it will give you this page. So most when you have yours, this this won't be there. So you have to copy this. And if you want to copy this, if you copy what I what you have here, it's not going to work because what is it will ask for your laptop username. If you look at what I have here, this is users, right? Can you see here? Then you use the username of my laptop is dr.kenny. So I, I have to change it to dr.kenny. Then download slash autodog vina folder slash bin. So don't forget to change this username to your own laptop username. And once you paste this. The next thing to do is to press Control S. You can see after I press Control S, it automatically takes me out of that folder, right? Out of that file. But if it's, if it's not taking you directly out of it, it will ask you, do you want to? And if, it's, if it asks you that, just press, just type Y. That Y means yes. And you press return on your, don't forget, enter is return on Mac. You do that and you get that. Once you do that, you are successfully installed and added Vina, installed Autodoc Vina on your laptop, which permits you to now run your Chimera. So once you do that, you can now type Vina on your, on your, just type it anywhere on your terminal and press enter. It will give you this information, correct usage. That means this has successfully been installed. If this is not showing, if this is not showing, it's giving you no command. That means you have, you have made a mistake in the process of doing this. So once you do that, we have successfully installed Autodoc Vina on our Chimera. So you can now go on, on the MacBook, rather. You can now go to Chimera now to do whatever work you want to do. And to do that, just go to Autodoc Vina. After you have done your legal preparation, protein preparation, Everything is done. So just come to Autodoc Vina. Don't forget to set your output, set your size, your center size, everything. So you just click on Looker and you copy the part. Don't forget this part. Your, 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 your Autodoc Vina part, the one you copied on after you press sudo. So you can you see, just copy the part. My own is users slash dr.kenny slash download slash Autodoc Vina underscore this, 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 underscore 64 bytes slash bin. The bin, because it is in that bin that the Vina folder is, the Vina as an executable, uh, Vina programming is, and slash Vina. Once you do that, you have successfully, then you can do what, you can do your molecular docking using Chimera. Is it straightforward? So I believe you can try that. I will send you the, the, this i will send this i will attach it to the video so that you can visit this and to be a guide to you i will probably expand it more on this so that it will be straightforward for any any of you to use in case you, you switch from your current laptop